Hi, I'm John Pettuccino, Professor of Astronomy at College of the Redwoods. This YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class, from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. So what are the units of measurement? We talked earlier about a kilometer being an effective unit. One kilometer equals 0.6 miles. But what if you want to travel a greater distance? What if you want to travel not across a crater on the surface of the Earth, but uh, beyond that? Perhaps the average distance to the sun would be a good unit to make. So our next uh, unit that we use is a very <laughs> uncreatively named an astronomical unit, one AU, one astronomical unit, is the average distance between the sun, the average distance between the sun, and that's the symbol for the sun, and the earth. And of course, as we discussed in lecture, the average distance between the sun and the earth is 150 million kilometers. 150 million kilometers or, as we learn to write in scientific notation, that is 150 million, which of course in scientific notation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1.5 times 10 to the 8th kilometers. That is one astronomical unit. So rather than discuss uh, the distance to Pluto and say, hey, Pluto is 6 billion kilometers away, and everyone nods their head and says, okay, 6 billion kilometers. Instead, if we recognize that one astronomical unit is 150 million kilometers, Pluto is an average distance of about 40 astronomical units. So 40 times 150 million gives us 6 billion. But again, 6 billion means nothing to us, but 40 astronomical units is something we can fathom. By the same token, Jupiter is 10 astronomical units away, or 1.5 billion kilometers. So we have a unit of measure called the astronomical unit. Check. We have a unit of kilometers, which we use in smaller frames. And then lastly, if you want to travel to the stars, there is one larger unit. And that, of course, is the one that sounds very sci-fi, and that is the light year. And the light year, as a reminder, is defined as one light year, one light year, one LY, is the distance light travels in a year. distance light travels in a year. Okay. So the distance light travels in a year. We're going to need two things to know if we're going to figure out the distance light travels in a year, as we discussed. The first is, what is the speed of light? And we will discuss that in our next segment. And the second piece we wanted to discuss is, what's a year? And that one's a little bit easier, of course. It takes the Earth about 365 and a quarter days to complete one yearly revolution around the Sun. So let's remind ourselves that a year is the Earth's period of revolution around the Sun. And it turns out it is equal to 365 and a quarter rotations on our axis. So there is a distinction that we covered in class, and I want to make sure you understand that the Earth revolves around the Sun, but it rotates on its axis. So one year is the period of Earth's revolution around the Sun. It is 365 and a quarter rotations around the Earth. Excuse me, 365 and a quarter rotations on its axis as it goes around the Sun. In our next segment, we'll talk a little bit about the speed of light.